Yep. So now I'm going to demonstrate uh, solving an IB level multiple choice question. Okay. So it is very important to uh, look at the options carefully, and I will show you some specific strategy to tackle these uh, advanced multiple choice question at the IB level. So we're going to uh, try this number question number 18, which is about hydrogen NMR spectrum analysis. Uh, hydrogen NMR spectrum analysis. And there are certain key important things to remember about uh, this concept. So first, and here is the strategy in solving it. So first we need to have the correct structure. Uh, so first we need to have the correct structure of structure of the molecule. And then after that, we need to look at the hydrogen environment. And then finally, we need to look at the PPM shift of the spectrum and see which option matches the one closest to our expectation. And the important idea here to remember is that for NMR spectrum, hydrogens that are in the same environment, they would have the same peak or the same shift. Environment will have the same peak or shift. Whereas hydrogens that are different, they would have different shifts. They will have different shifts. So now let's look at the question and let's see uh, what kind of structures we have for the first step. So the structure we have in this question is a cyclohexane. So now we need to decipher the name and see what the structure is. So first we have hex, and that would mean six carbon in this case. And then we have the ending, the suffix of A and E. So that means this molecule is an alkane. That means it only has carbon, carbon, single bond. And then finally, the prefix cyclo reminder, that means that the structure itself is, is a ring. So combining that all together, the structure, when we draw that out, it would be a hexagon. So that is the structure of the cyclohexane. So now that we have that, we need to look at where the hydrogens are and what their surrounding area is, because that's what's going to show up in the NMR spectrum. So now let's explicitly draw, draw out the hydrogens here. So reminder that each carbon can make four bonds. So therefore, the, each carbon will have two hydrogens on them in order to make up four bonds in total. So now when you count all the hydrogens together, there are 12 of them in total. So there are 12 hydrogens in total. Two for each carbon, okay? So that is what the structure and where all the hydrogens are. So now let's analyze and see if these hydrogens are different or if they are the same. So notice since this molecule is completely symmetric where it's a perfect hexagon, then that means each of these hydrogens, all 12 of them are identical. So, so all 12 hydrogens are identical and that is because of the symmetry of the molecule. Symmetric structure in the molecule. So therefore our expectation of the NMR spectrum is that we only should have one peak. Should only have one peak in the spectrum. So now let's look at the options and see if we can eliminate some of the options right off the bat. So now when we look at option B and D, I will do a rough sketch here. So for option B and D, okay, there are multiple peaks in various places. So that is indicating that whatever molecules B and D are, those hydrogens, they are in different environments and they are not all identical. So therefore, we can eliminate those options right off the bat. So from there, we are only left with two options, which is, which are A and C. So once again, 
I will draw a rough sketch on the board. So for option A, there is precisely only one peak. And then option C, there is also one peak with a little bit of side piece on the side. Okay. But now this is where we look at use step three to help us eliminate which ones the most likely answer. So for the shift for option A, the shift is roughly somewhere around one and two. So that is indicating that those hydrogens are in an alkane environment, which is the category of molecule that we have. Cyclohexane is an alkane. So option A is looking promising. So now let's look at option C just to double check. So always check all your options and not just jump to conclusion. Okay. So for option C, the it also mostly has one peak, but the shift is very, very close to four. So that is suggesting that those hydrogens there, although they are mostly identical, that's most likely an alkene or an alkyne molecule, which is not what we have. So putting that all together, option A is the correct answer because of that. So for now, it seems like there's a lot of concepts that I went through, and there's a lot of things to, to write down to note in order to answer this question. But with hard work and also with practice, okay, you, some of this process can be sped up. So for example, once you know that is a cyclohexane with six carbons and with practice knowing that each carbon has two, then notice you can somewhat go quickly six times two to get 12. So that is an example of how you can use those practice to apply the concepts quickly to answer difficult questions such as this one. 